Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will look at ClickSense NPV financial function which is a net present value function and as you can see it over here it returns aggregated net present value of an investment based on a discount rate per period and series of future payments and incomes. Yes, I understand a lot of things but if you are from finance you know it is just a matter of one second that you have understood this by just looking at the NPV but for anyone new yeah it's little difficult so NPV takes two parameter the discount rate and value in click sense and we will see both in the back end and in the front end how to calculate the NPV for the series of investments all right so let's go to data and data is very simple as you can see it's a cash flow data for 2013 which is a year and then you have the date discount and payments like for these different dates uh, what is the discount point 0.1 and point 0.2 which is nothing but 10 percent and 20 percent and the payments is basically these values like negative 10,000 or 3,000 or 4,200 and 6,800 now what we can do is we can uh, calculate the NPV as a separate one for the year so year is nothing but 2013 so let's connect uh, create the NPV value for um, 2013 NPV table since I have just had the column of col colon over there so load year year is nothing but this column name from this table I will show you in a minute how to reference that um, then we can have the NPV I want to calculate the NPV by 0.2% it can be anything based on what you based on how the discount is in, in your real life scenario but uh, for now we will say payments along with the discount so these are our uh, investment values and we will call it as NPV 2013 because this is for 2013 all right and uh, we need to reference this using the resident keyword resident cash flow sorry cash flow table and we need to group by year since it is part of the dimension so let's hit save and load the data click close come to analysis create a table to see the value at the dimension which is the year and at the column which is again the dimension because we have already calculated it the NPV 2013 dimension value which is negative 540.12 now this calculation you can do it in the front end by clicking on measure from the add column go into the expression editor and simply say NPV same definition 0.2 comma payments PAY complete that close the parenthesis click apply and just expand this little bit yeah so same thing the only difference is that if it is part of backend it is a dimension but when it is part of the front end it is a measure that can be displayed in a table and since uh, it is front end uh, calculation uh, which is the new NPV calculation it is showing you the total because it's a measure and uh, it it will calculate every time you will make a selection so be very cautious if this is something which is static in nature then do it in the back end if it is dynamic and need changes uh, based on a couple of other factors like the different discount rate or different uh, uh, you know payment values that you want to supply dynamically then then do it in the front end as per your needs uh, but that's about uh, how you can calculate the NPV uh, in the back end and in the front end and before I move ahead I will show you one other thing that uh, what you can do is right now we have statistically or uh, not statistically but in a static way we have uh, specified point two, but what we can take is this field as well so we can say even discount now this will create uh, two rows for us this is point one this is point two so let's we have saved this let's load it oh it has given us an error so can you guess what is the error 
over here well if you have not already figured it out it's basically because of the another dimension that we have used in the table which is the discount so we need to close this and we need to say here comma comma discount now let's hit on save and load the data now it has run successfully click close come on analysis and over here as you can see we have two different values so what we need to bring to see it in perspective is the discount so add column dimension and discount and I can put discount over here just beside to ear and uh, now if you see the front end calculation is little different than the back end but uh, for point uh, 2 point 0.1 and point 0.2 so what we need to do is uh, let's remove this to see it in a proper perspective but uh, so this is the dimension that we have uh, in the front end and in the back end the discount rate point 0.1 point 0.2 but this is uh, looks like giving some issues like point 0.1 and point 0.2 and then point 0.1 point 0.2 maybe what I can do is just remove this particular one and try to create a fresh one altogether by taking a dimension which is here adding one more dimension which is discount point 0.1 and point 0.2 adding one more dimension which is NPV 2013 okay so for each of the dimension value the point 0.1 and point 0.2 it is giving me the value which I was not expecting so one thing which probably I can do to correct it is add the discount as a separate field over here. Now we have year discount grouping by year and discount and let's load it. Click close analysis. All right. So now it's perfect. Okay. So that's what I was expecting and that's what I've got. So you can see sometimes uh, whenever you are not getting the results correctly you can just a little bit brainstorm and I just thought since it is mostly discount I have not uh, uh, put it as part of the dimension but as part of the discount value that's why it was giving me the duplicate one but that's about it how you can uh, either provide a static value or a dynamic value and uh, get the output